This is a, a video diary for uh, June 17, 2001. Uh, uh, on that day, we finished. Uh, we have finished a drawing of the Space 158, and after that, started cleaning a little cut that was here in the middle of the wall that was filled with uh, packing clay and had a lid on top. Uh, it was a little concave feature, and um, and so we continued also emptying the cut around the pillar, southern pillar, and looked at the interior wall and decided that the interior wall is uh, sitting on top of this visible white floor, so today we are removing that. And um, we also have finished uh, drawing the profile or the section uh, of the base of the screen wall in which we can see the places where we had the post hole and the plank opening another plank another one another post hole at the end and then we still see the remains of uh, large portions of flat plaster that was here and there that was sitting on uh, uh, the screen wall. We also can see something that's a little puzzling, which is that it seems that the side, the southern side of the big oven is going all the way down. And we don't, don't see its end, which means that it was really very big, which I somehow doubt. I think it's just the coincidence of the oven being on top of something similar under it. <coughs> and. Um, and so we can see now nicely also the, the floor line here in the center of the house and the base of the screen wall. Uh, what else we did? We worked in the kitchen and um, started removing the hearts that are sitting on top of um, feature 169, big platform, and started with the top one, which was here, which wasn't a real heart but it was a kind of cut that is really skewing a little bit our view of the original edge of the platform, which originally the platform was, uh, the, the eastern edge was up to this point, and we can follow that edge nicely, but here we cannot follow it anymore. And what had happened in another stage is that uh, phase or of the life in the houses that the hearts were built, built uh, attached to the platform. Eventually it was all covered with, <clears throat> with a platform, a white floor, and it looked in the latest phase um, as one big platform. Uh, uh, another thing that we haven't talked about that became visible here on this feature is a cut of some sort in the middle. Uh, which could be a burial, even though this seems like a small cut for it, but could be some other kind of cut. And then we can see these uh, burned materials coming from a fire installation on either side, most likely out of the kitchen that was put in the base <coughs> of the wall. Um, and then further in the kitchen, what we are doing, we are trying to arrive on the earlier floor level by removing these hearts. And uh, also here in the case of feature 167, we are trying to arrive on uh, earlier levels. And so we are almost down to the same level as we are in, in the central kitchen. We have one more major floor level to take uh, out and then we'll be on the same level. So now we are um, in the C phase of this platform, and we can see the shape of it, which I have already mentioned before. It's slightly unusual, but now even more visible, and we can see how the floors at this phase were going up, up this uh, bench or whatever it was, and across it. And that's it, and then Ruth will say something about what was going on in the north. Um, 
The only thing we did over here was to draw the profile, this very nice profile and photograph or oh. profile of this um, top floor of the sea phase on feature 173, it's going underneath feature 162, that's what we did. So, and the burial people. You know, and after that, I have to add something. Okay. Um, let's see. What we did is we uh, finished exposing the bones that uh, were the scattered remains of skeleton 8113 and photographed the, the articulated skeletons and the last of the disarticulated ones that had been under the previous level. After that, we took out um, a number of things. We took out the basket uh, remains. We took out the disarticulated remains and then took another photograph of only the articulated skeletons 8114 and 8115. After that, then we decided to go ahead and take out the skeleton 8115 and uh, what you see here is the, the remains that still need to be taken out uh, of 8115. So 8114 is still in there, um, part of 8115 and all of 8113 is gone. Okay, and also in addition to all of this, outside of the house three, we started uh, removing of uh, the mid in this area here between the two strings. And the reason for that is that we need to free the west wall from the outside so that we can deal with the west wall as we did in further north along the west wall. So we are removing the layers in arbitrary layers mm -hmm. so far, but then deeper down we can see in the middle that there are some depositional layers which we will try to follow and, um, and we'll see what we get. Okay, that's it. Thank you.